Today, shark finning is banned throughout most of the world. But now, sharks are in more trouble than ever before. We're killing up to 150 million sharks a year, but scientists can only account for 70 million of those. There are 80 million sharks every year that are getting killed, and nobody knows why or where those sharks are going. Sharks are worth an enormous amount of money, and it's mostly for their fins. And, you know, a single pound of fin is worth over $200 US. So to fishermen around the world in third world countries, you can pull up a shark, cut off its fins, throw the rest of the body back, dry the fin. You don't need refrigeration systems on your boat, so even the most decrepit boats can go out there and make enormous amounts of money. And it's, sharks are being fished everywhere. One of the most amazing sharks in the world, the oceanic white tip shark, comes here only in the month of May. Now, the oceanic white tip shark was once the most abundant large predator on the planet. They were everywhere. But because they have massive fins that are highly valued in the fin industry, oceanic white tip shark populations in the Atlantic and Caribbean have dropped 99%. You know, they've been here for actually 400 million years. They've survived five major extinctions on Earth that wiped out most life on the planet. They've seen life on Earth rebuild from scratch five times. 450 million years of sharks' presence on Earth, we've decimated in 30 years. Shark populations dropped 90% in 30 years. 90%. How could this be happening? How could this be happening? We depend on ecosystems for survival. We depend on other species. They're part and parcel of ourselves, of our daily lives. Removing sharks is removing part of the framework that allows life to exist on land. It's the animal that sits on top of 70% of the oxygen in the air that we breathe from phytoplankton in the oceans. If we remove one species, the consequences ripple through entire ecosystems. And right now we're removing, you know, the most important predator the planet has. And the consequences are going to not just affect oceanic ecosystems, they're going to affect our ecosystems and ourselves. Most of the pollution we've ever made as a species has gone into the environment untreated. And that accumulates in living animal matter and concentrates as you go up the food chain. By the time you get to sharks, they're enormously toxic with things like lead and mercury and even neurotoxins. So it's important that we keep sharks out of our food. This is a seizure of 800 pounds of shark fins in Panama, representing $300,000 in shark fins, uh, many of which are illegal and on the endangered species list, including the scallop hammerhead shark, our favorite species. When we started making shark water, there were four countries that had banned shark finning. When we were finished, there were 16 countries that had banned shark finning. Now there's more than 90 countries around the world that have banned the process of finning, but none of them have banned the importation of fins, which means you can fin as many sharks as you want as long as you put the fins on a shipping boat before you bring them into port, not a fishing boat. 33% of the pet food products tested positive for shark DNA, including black tip and mako shark, which is a vulnerable species known for very high mercury levels. We also found traces of black tip, scallop, hammerhead, milk, and blue shark DNA in the beauty care products we tested. Seeing all the destruction that humans had wrought on ecosystems and species and, and the lack of care that was coming, I, I sort of developed a distrust and a dislike of humanity at times. And then through making this movie, trying to educate humanity about what was happening to sharks and seeing them take that cause and fight for it, particularly kids, it really instilled a lot more hope and made me love humanity a lot more than I ever could before. We still have a bright future if we want it, but we've got to do something now.